Hello everyone, Gandalf Fool here. So today, I'd like you to welcome to four topics about celebrities. And our first and today in our show, number one, Tyler Perry. And number two will be Taylor Swift and her relationship with Calvin Harris. Number three, Miley Cyrus about her foundation with the Hippie Foundation. Number four, guys, we'll be talking about Mr. Jack Black for this YouTube video. So let's get this started. Okay. <clears throat> First things first with Tyler Perry. Now, we all know that Tyler Perry is a wonderful, amazing actor who inspires us all. And it's just so amazing because all of us people around the world love his work and his movies. And we all know Medea. Medea is our favorite character of all. And what makes Tyler Perry so inspiring is the way how he tends to be straight with every one of us about life. Tyler Perry tends to give us some very good information on about relationships, families, love, life, anything that goes on. And he talks about God in his plays, which is very amazing. But what I want you well, but, but this video for all you guys out there, um, we, Tyler Perry is just an amazing man, and his work really inspires us all. And, you know, without Tyler Perry, I mean, who knows where good movies would be from, because Tyler Perry is a good director. And I'm sure you've heard some of his movies, like Medea's Family Reunion, the new one that came out last year, A Medea Christmas, such a good comedy movie. But, in my greatest opinion, Tyler Perry is the most greatest inspiring man ever, and all of you guys should definitely um, watch more of his films. His films are really good, and he's just amazing. So, thank you, Tyler Perry, for inspiring us all with your amazing work and just making us all feel better about ourselves. Thank you so much. Number two, Taylor Swift is up next. Now, we all know that Taylor Swift has been famous since she was 16 years old. She was a country star. She made many country albums. She made Taylor Swift, Fearless, Speak Now, Red. She pushed all of those aside when she made 1989. Yes, 1989. Her new pop album that came out last year in October of the 24th and so far she is doing her 1989 world tour and it's just going great she's making a great progress in her career with her music and she decided to leave country because she wanted to be a pop star and change her music now all Swifties know that you know her country music was good and we kind of miss it, yeah, we do. But hey, Taylor wants to switch up a bit. So why not let her switch up a bit? Because Taylor Swift is 25 years old and she is a grown woman. She has many choices she wants to do, has two pet cats, has a nice home, still plays guitar, very good at playing guitar because she is just a very awesome singer slash musician. And hopefully her next album can be really great as well as 1989. Good work for you, Taylor. Now, as we all are clearly speaking now, we've all heard the buzz of Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris dating, right? Right? But anyway, rumors have had it that Taylor's relationship with Calvin Harris is going good. Matter of fact, I'm going to be showing you a picture real soon of them holding hands because I have the picture of it and there's evidence. 
So, um, they try to keep the relationship a secret, but apparently Mr. Calvin Harris was seeing Taylor Swift when he was currently still dating his ex-girlfriend. So people are thinking, like, was Calvin playing both Taylor and his girl? Well, if you can say that, it's in your own opinion. But in my opinion, some say that Calvin's relationship with his ex wasn't working out, so he left her for Taylor, basically. And, um, I guess Calvin Harris' ex-girlfriend doesn't mind if Taylor and Calvin are dating, I guess? I'm surprised how she didn't get mad and try to send mean tweets to Taylor Swift saying, like, Oh, you stole my man. Yeah. Well, I guess his relationship with his ex wasn't working out, so he went to go date Taylor Swift. I mean, it's 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 common every day how people leave and jump right into the next relationship, you know. <laughs> but um, you know, that's Taylor and Calvin for you. And uh, Taylor and Calvin, I guess rumors have had it that their relationship is going good, and they're getting serious. So maybe Taylor Swift could become Mrs. Taylor Harris? Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, let's just hope that these two can get along and have a good relationship because we all know that Taylor's exes have really ruined her life and try to, you know, break her down and stuff. So I, so all of us are glad that Taylor Swift has finally found a man who can make her happy. You go, girl. Number three, Miley Cyrus. So, the news bud, the news feed have said that Miley Cyrus is working on a hippie foundation, apparently supporting the people out there, I guess, who are hippies, if that's the question, I'm not sure. But, um, anyway, Miley Cyrus has been working with the foundation of the hippie and, you know, just been supporting the hippies everywhere, and she's trying to make a change for herself. Well, at least we don't see her twerking on stage with Robin Thicke, if you know what I mean, right? <laughs> but anyway, guys, maybe, maybe Miley Cyrus wants to make a difference, and that she's fine with being single, because we all know that Miley Cyrus um, was currently dating Arnold Schwarzenegger's son, Patrick Schwarzenegger, but apparently they broke up. I don't know why. Mm, I guess Miley wanted to take the lonely way. Probably being single. Because Miley says that she can handle herself as a single person. Like, she says she doesn't need a man in her life. She's basically saying that all of her relationships weren't exactly straight the way she wanted it. So, if that's Miley's choice to be single, then I guess what the woman does what she wants to do. Because it's, it's what the heart once, basically. But, that's my way for you. Number four. Not least, but last, Mr. Jack Black. So, Jack Black has been working on a film called The D Train. And, you know, at first I thought it was relating to the band Tenacious D, but I guess that's something different in between. Because I've seen the trailer of it, and I didn't really see Kyle Gass in it. Meh. I had my hopes up. I thought it was going to be another Tenacious D album. I guess it wasn't. But hey. There's some actors that we recognize in there. The guy with the red hair who played as Ned Schneebly in the School of Rock. Don't know what his name is, but he's in the movie with Jack Black as well. And Jack Black is working on Goosebumps movie, which you all of you have heard in the last video. And it's going to be coming out this year? In October? If I'm correct? Yeah, it is. And it's near my birthday, I, th I think. But anyway, Jack Black has been doing a great work, and he's really excited about Goosebumps, he's really excited about releasing the D-Train, because he's worked so hard on his movies, and, you know, he's a good working father, he has two sons, and, you know, has a wife who's very beautiful, and he's a singer, and, you know, he's a family man. We all can say Jack Black is a family man. So let's give a let's give a big hand for Mr. Jack Black for working on two movies this year. 
Mr. Jack Black, I don't know how you do it, but you're just great with your movie career. <laughs> Alrighty guys, that's a wrap for four celebrity topics for today. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to me at Panda Fufu. And this will be on every not every Saturday, but you know, the next Saturday after. So um so this this will be on, you know, every Saturday if I'm up for it. But if you like this show um, comment below and tell me if I should make more, and leave a like for this video. Bye!